you can get it. Yeah. Once that's done, hold down variable channel one. So we'll take it out of calibration. You need to get your bottom line to zero, top line to 100. See the uh, dotted lines? Yeah. You want this bottom line to touch to zero, top line to touch to 100. To do that, turn your volts to vision knob. What this will do is, it'll expand or shrink the wave. You can only expand it so much. So what you typically want to do is you want to shrink it. Okay. But for this example, we should be fine. You can still use that as normal. Once you've got it set, where the bottom's on zero, top's on 100, you hit the main alt delay. What this is going to do is it's going to pull up a selection bracket. What this does is it looks at a segment of the wave, just one small portion of the wave for magnification. And because you're trying to get, which is this one for, rise time? Yes. Negative to positive, so the left side of the wave. If it's fall time, positive to negative, so the right side of the wave. Okay. To move the bracket, you move the uh, delay time knob. To expand or shrink the bracket, you move the time division knob. Okay. When it gets there, I'll show you. God, that thing moves slow. You got a little CRTs. <laughs> yeah, at least they're working accurate. I could have just hit slope there, but whatever. Come on. Alright, I don't know if you can really see it. There's intensity. Yeah, okay. If you turn up the intensity a little bit, you see that in the background? You can probably yeah. can't really see it on the phone too well, but in the background, that's more or less your uh, preview of your magnification. Yeah. So you can actually move this until you see, see how it like trails off there? You see how it goes to the line and you see where it starts to trail off? Yeah. You want to get that trail off about centered. So that when you hit main out the leg again, it's magnified. And you can actually see what you're doing. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember that part now. And once you've got that, you're going to want a corner. You can't really see this one too well, unfortunately. Okay, that's not what you need to turn up. Yeah, that's as bright as I'm going to be able to get that one. But You can see it. Okay. You want to take this point. To find where it crosses the 10, and you're going to want to corner it on a block. Like, I can't really see it too well, but I think it cuts right about there. Once you find where it cuts the 10, try to corner it on any of the blocks so that you can measure. And then you go up to the 90, and you find where it crosses the 90. Mm -hmm. You just bring it up from your starting point, and you count over. Okay. So you've got one point about two blocks, so 1.2 times this number in the top left-hand corner. Okay. Which will give you your 60 nanoseconds is the rise time. And it's from the, uh, the 10 to the 90. Okay. And then fall time is the same thing except opposite. Opposite side. So for this one, and yeah, let me uh, go out of magnification. So for this one, it's the same deal, but you're doing the opposite. You're just going to corner where it crosses the 90, which is right about, yeah, it's a pain in the ass to move it sometimes. It's more or less right about there. Unfortunately, I can't get it like on the right, perfectly on the spot. So you start right there and it crosses the 10. Right okay, okay, so you're saying where the, where the top drops. Yeah, right where, like, when the line comes down, it cuts across that uh, 90 point. Yeah. And wherever it cuts to cuts to that 90 point is where you're going to start your count from. And if you corner it on a block, it's just easier to count. Got it. So from there, it's just you pull it down, and you find what crosses the 10. It's about there. So you got about a block in one segment. Got it. Times this number in the top of 10 corners. So it's 1.2 times 50 nanoseconds. Okay. Got it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, when you get done with it, you know, turn your intensity back down.
put it back in calibration. When it's in calibration, that's equal. When it's out of calibration, it's greater than. And as soon as that, you're done. Got it.